Welcome to the shortwave radio channel and another little shortwave for beginners series here. So you might notice that a lot of radios that are sold today have multiple bandwidths. You might wonder what is that for? So a radio station or any signal on the shortwave spectrum takes a certain amount of space. And that amount of space is the largest for AM signals. So when you're listening to international broadcasts, like uh, this is Radio Nacional Amazonas. And it's smaller in single sideband. That's why single sideband is used on amateur bands. Way more signals. And also at the same time, not just way more signals that are in the same band. Also, without a carrier, takes less energy to transmit. It's more efficient. But bandwidth goes with the amount of information you get. So like here in the AM bandwidth side, this radio has 6, 5, 3.5, 2.3, and that's on the AM mode. On single sideband, it goes even lower to 0.5. Now, you might think, why should I use this? The quality of the audio isn't the same. Of course, this is 2.3. 3.5, 5, and 6. You might not be hearing it much on the microphone, but there's a huge quality difference in the audio. The reason why that is, is that if two stations are too close together, they might be interfering with each other. If there would be a station 11, say, with 7, 8, 5, that would be as strong, it might interfere. So to avoid the interference, you'll use a smaller bandwidth which will prevent that other station from actually creating interference. But because you're lowering the amount of space allowed for that signal to come through, you're also going to cut down on the quality of the audio you're listening. So this is used mostly when you need to squeeze in a station that is hard to listen to because of another one very close by. Because in a regular listening experience, you'll use probably five or six. I like five. I find it that it's a nice compromise quality and um, and in clear signal. But you can six for the best audio quality if you want. Same for single sideband. You'll use a smaller bandwidth if you need to. In single sideband, typically a lot of the signals are around 2.8 kilohertz wide. So you'll want to be around there. I'll sometimes use 3 or 2.3 because this radio doesn't have 2.8. But it's really to avoid interference mostly that you'll use the bandwidths on a radio. And so it's not always the case that you need to use them. Often you can just leave them alone. But in the case where two signals are too close together, then the bandwidths will help you. Kind of, It's like zooming in on the station if you want. Uh, for those that are saying that the Texan uh, bandwidths and the bandwidths of the DSP chip are audio, they're not. They are not audio uh, bandwidths. But the problem is, some people are comparing the bandwidths of their filters on $4,000 radios with filters on $300 radios. You can't. There's, they're not the same, the same f uh, shape or form factor, as they call Bandwidth filters have different qualities and some very high-end filters definitely have a better slope, a better shape in behaving at that frequency than others. That depends on the price paid. But for the price paid, these smaller radios, including the XH Data, the Texan PL330, it's darn amazing that you get all of these bandwidths today that you didn't get in the past. Uh, in the past, it was, you know, wide narrow switches. They helped but they definitely weren't the best. And this is where today's receivers, even the lower end, like the XH Data D808 and uh, Texan PL330, that's where they really amazingly get much closer to higher end radios suddenly because of all the choices of options, including these bandwidth filters that will help you uh, listen to signals on shortwave. So I hope the explanation is uh, clear enough. Think about every station and every signal has a certain size on the band. And if there's too many of them close together, well, you can actually lower the amount of signal that's coming through 
zoom in if you want on that frequency. And of course you're cutting on what's on either side. So any interfering station will disappear. But it comes at a cost, lower audio quality. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.